cannot do, it doesn't mean that Western scientists cannot do, this is not my job. Please. There is a news item uh, on the 23rd one of the national uh, Indian national uh, newspaper in English edition. And in this, uh, I have uh, read through. Uh, it's called elimination of HIV from DNA raises hope for AIDS cure. Then when I gone through the text. I have observed or I have seen that um, something is not correct. This news has been given by scientists from Temple University of United States of America. And uh, the scientists, what they say, they can separate the virus, uh, HIV virus DNA from the integration with the human DNA, that means a host DNA, and they are using the technique they call, it is, um, they are uh, using the uniquely tailored gene uniquely tailored gene, gene editing technology, this um, technology, what they are saying, my fear or I uh, assume that they are using synthetic genes to separate this. This is a, uh, the, uh, every scientist has to or many, many scientists including myself, we do a lot of experimental work in laboratory conditions. But in particular reference to uh, the HIV infection and uh, which is in human system and destroying the human from one end to another. Their human system is complex. In particular reference to the immune system of the human or animal is very complex, it is not so easy. Therefore, what I have done over a period of last 20 years many experiments, I did it in my laboratory conditions, did not work in uh, reality in uh, human. By doing in laboratory conditions, one cannot predict that this will be a breakthrough or this technology will cure this dangerous, dreaded, the incurable, so far incurable disease called HIV infection. Now, these scientists have forgotten, as I have said in the past, forgotten what is GITS means. A, a AIDS, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, and I have invented the GITS called Genetically or Genomically Transmitted Immune Deficiency Syndrome. So far, it has not been. It has not been found out, it has not been taught, it has not been made. Two, public, so the public knows what it is, it was not been done by any scientist in this world except myself. Recently, so the books also we have uh, written, reports also we have given. Now, this technology, what they are doing, it, this, um, in my knowledge, this is not going to work. In laboratory conditions, it may work because they are using synthetic genes. Synthetic genes are in human, it is a mismatch situation or synthetically, the procedure is synthetic, they say it's uniquely tailored means they are, uh, although they are not mentioning, but I assume that this is synthetic genes, they are using for separating these two DNA, which are integrated. But wha what we have done, we have last 20 years, uh, we did work and uh, the uh, last, our patients, we have treated with with our Borua, combat, Borua biological combat genes, eight years ago, patients are surviving last eight years without this disease and without having any problem. They are having a normal life, which I have recently focused. And they are not taking, and no other people is taking into consideration what I have said. In India, 
in India, uh, whatever invention takes place in India, Indians does not accept that, Indian does not admit that, Indian does does not take it that they own technology. But if something uh, coming from West, whether technology is wrong or right, they say it is good technology. That I must say. The Indians are born as a slave and they are dying as a slave. They will remain as a slave. However, the, whatever they think my work is going on and this technology, separation and uh, the uh, using the uh, <coughs> technology which are they are using that is not going to work it because inside the, the human system. We have done this kind of work in the past and many, many times we fail. And, and then I have invented 29 combat genes which are I am using now. Uh, and the, my genes are using in such a manner there is no recurrence and and the cure is 100 percent or 100 percent certain made to be certain now our steps are i cannot give you the details here but our steps are we are uh, we are uh, the stopping the virus to get into the system through the CD4 T cells, it cannot go through because they, they, uh, we, uh, they mutated these, uh, the genes that are responsible at that level and uh, the, so that the, it cannot g get into it. Now, which are already get in? Which are already get what we are going to do? And the reverse transcriptions, uh, we have a process called reverse transcription, which, uh, it, is, it has been uh, made within the system of human and uh, by our genes. That is uh, so that this uh, the DNA of the virus cannot integrate with the host virus. That is uh, that part we stop it. Third part, we are stopping the microRNA, which are regulator of the genes or entire human genome. And uh, those are infected by the HIV virus and, and the uh, entire whole genome is the genome is regulated by the virus eventually and that also we destroy without touching the normal uh, the micro RNA. Then target genes we decode them then the whole process goes on and uh, reverses the disease. It is not that what they are doing. All right. I, I, I agree that they are separating the, the virus uh, the genes and the uh, human uh, uh, virus uh, DNA from the human DNA, but which are already there, what they are going to do? They cannot go on separating like this. It is not possible. It is humanly impossible what they are saying in, in, in vivo. That means it is in human system is so complex, this is not going to work. What I say, it is, it has never worked. This is not going to, and they are saying it is a breakthrough. It cannot be a breakthrough. They, what, they let them show, let them show me that they have cured uh, and even one patient and uh, let them show me. We have cured till now 265 patients and out of that, the oldest one, eight years. Uh, then, no, then after that, five years, four years, three years and it's going on. Uh, there is no uh, this um, uh, the, uh, virus uh, within them and they are leading a normal life. And second uh, question, uh, negative and positive, all these things will be, we have spoken many times, but this is a misnomer, terminology should not be used. But whatever, our combat genes are working extremely well, all sorts of, we cannot get this virus to get in. Now, we don't allow the reverse transcription of the uh, HIV virus, so therefore, integration is uh, uh, out of questions. They are saying that integration, they will separate it. We are saying integration is not possible for us because we stop it. So which is better? Better, rather, is, uh, prevention is better. It is not that we are preventing the, uh, the um, virus to get in, but we are curing as well. So that's all I can say that whatever they are saying from the temple university, because they are university, whatever they say, I will not accept that. Because I have gone through these kind of experiments many, 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 many times. It doesn't work. It is a mismatch situation. Synthetic genes or synthetic anything that in human, it, is, it doesn't work. Never works in the past and it will never work in the future.